Yo, what up, what up? It's your man, Big Brandon Carter. Today we're gonna talk about how to put on muscle but still stay lean this whole summer, all right? I know a lot of y'all wanna put on a little bit of muscle, wanna get, you know, take your shirt off, stun at the beach and whatnot, but you also wanna stay whole ready. I'm sorry, young lady ready. <laughs> Chris, Chris, man, Chris done infiltrated my brain. It's all good with me, me and Chris gonna do some, uh, we was talking, we gonna do some collabs later this, later this summer, but I digress. How do you put on muscle and stay lean all summer? So first of all, what you wanna do is get as lean as you wanna be. First, first of all, get as lean as you wanna be. Like you should have visible cuts and like, you know, six pack, all that, you know, like at least the makings of a six pack and, and, and V-line, all that stuff. Get, get lean first, get lean first. And there's a few reasons why you wanna do that. One is because it's just quicker. It's like, it's quicker to put on, to lose fat than it is to put on muscle. Because putting muscle is a, biologically, is just a more difficult process for your body. It, the the, 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 the uh, five muscle fibers have to be broken down, then they have to heal and the cells have to actually grow and then split and all fat cells have to do is shrink. It's like, it's way quicker. I have a video uh, where I interviewed a guy who lost 70 pounds in 70 days. He was obese, right? Like, so that's why he was able to do that. But uh, he lost 70 pounds in 70 days. Under no circumstances are you putting on 70 pounds of muscle in 70 days. I don't, even, even if you're on all types of juice or, or drugs, it, it doesn't matter. There's no way in hell you're doing that. So I say that to say, getting cut is faster. So you, first you wanna do that. Get as lean as you wanna be. Then do what I call, I think I invented this, all right? Called micro bulks. Basically what you do is you just bulk in for a few weeks, usually two to four weeks, but you, you judge it, but you don't, you don't go by that. It could be longer, it could be shorter. You go by your, your, your abs. When, you, when your six pack starts fading or you're not as ripped, then you cut. Now that, this is different than a traditional bulk because in a traditional bulk, what happens is you, uh, you bulk for a long period of time, you put on a lot of weight and you might get kind of fat. And, and that's cool, that works. You'll put on actually more muscle that way, but like I said, you'll get kind of fat. And this, that's not what this video is about. <laughs> this video is about staying lean. And, and I do that year round because I don't want to ever be fat, right? <laughs> and it's easier to stay lean if you're already lean. And you're more susceptible to putting on fat if you're fat. So the fatter you are, the worse it can potentially get. Does that make sense? So if you just always stay lean. So what I do is, man, I just, I just, I get, first I get lean, then I bulk until my abs start looking, you know, whack. Then they start, like they st <laughs> they're not whack yet. They just start looking whack. And then I, I go back on the cut and I go back and forth. I kind of just, all, I'm always going back and forth between the two. Uh, good rule of thumb. Uh, if, if you want your cutting, take your weight in pounds, multiply it by 10. That's, that's the calories you need to cut. If you want to bulk, take your weight in pounds, multiply by 20. That's how many calories you need to bulk. Or you can use the portion size method, which I talked about in other, uh, in other videos. Now, people get crazy when I talk about stuff like this and say, that's not the way to do it. It's not the way to do it. There's multiple ways to do it. I'm just giving you another tool that you can put in your toolbox. You know, if you don't, you don't have to do this, people get ripped and build muscle other ways, plenty of other ways, right? Like if, if you only have one tool, you can't build a house with just one tool, right? You need the whole assortment. So I'm trying to facilitate that. Uh, if you want more information on getting cut, I have a free ebook in the description, give you everything you need to know, man, uh, about getting ripped as hell, fast as hell. Oh, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the fact that once you come off a cut, you're in the perfect position to bulk. In fact, uh, any bodybuilder would tell you, anybody who's been to any kind of competition or, or dieted for a photo shoot or any, anybody who's, who's done this shit before will tell you that after a cut, man, they, they, they put on the most muscle. What happens is your body is depleted for so long, it kind of like just sucks up the nutrients. So it's almost like more effective, right? It's more effective. And if you bulk for too long, you become insensitive to insulin, right? So going back and forth helps keep your insulin sensitivity up. Uh, a lot of people are afraid that it's gonna ruin your metabolism. Mm, you're gonna ruin your metabolism. Shut that's not. That's not. A, that's not a legitimate concern. There's no evidence to support that claim. In fact, there's only evidence to the contrary. Uh, my video director will put that up now. <laughs> and you know, it's, it's just. It's, it won't wreck your metabolism. It's not. It's not. It's not something you need to worry about. I've been doing this for. I've been doing this exact protocol for about ten years. 
You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think I, I think I got it from Bill Phillips. He had an article about it in his old, the old book, Muscle Media 2000. And, I, and, and from what I understand, Greg Plitt uh, followed a similar protocol. R.I.P. R.I.P. Greg Plitt. Uh, yeah, man. So I hope that helps. Click the link in the description. Free shit you can download. Uh, follow me on Snap, Killer Carter 187. I'm doing all types of gangsta dope shit that uh, you, you, you should enjoy. Peace. Yo, what up, what up? It's your man, Big Brandon Carter. If you're like me, you start every day with coffee. And I used to drink that regular basic bitch coffee, but now I drink fighter fuel. Fighter Fuel is the strongest coffee on the market. Fighter Fuel naturally has more caffeine than the traditional coffee, but we get some extra. We put some ginseng in it. So it's coffee and ginseng. You never had nothing like this. Put some respect on your mornings by starting your day off with Fighter Fuel coffee and not that basic bitch coffee that you've been drinking your whole life. Fighter Fuel's for badasses like you, so you need a badass coffee like fighter fuel and if you're intermittent fasting you know how effective coffee is for naturally reducing appetite fighter fuel takes that to a whole nother level because it's way stronger than any basic bitch coffee and we got some ginseng in there this is the real fuel the real fuel for your mornings try fighter fuel coffee today